Last month, Saudi Arabia and Russia, working together as OPEC+, Plus, made a major decision. They decided to reduce oil output, which has only served to heighten relational tensions between the United States and Saudi Arabia. Now, the Biden administration has vowed to act methodically in response to what it sees as a blatant slight and Moscow's complicity. However, there have been calls from both Democrats and Republicans in Congress to end security aid to Saudi Arabia. And according to Riyadh, its actions were motivated only by economic self-interest. Recent reports also indicate that Saudi Arabia is moving away from the United States and toward China. So what exactly does this signify for the kingdom and the two superpowers? In this video, we're going to take a look at Saudi Arabia's new partnership with China that is set to destroy the US economy. Hey everyone, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. So if you're ready, then let's begin. Saudi Aramco, the largest oil exporter in the world, and Sinopec, the largest oil and chemical firm in China, have recently signed a memorandum of understanding. Aramco said in a statement that the deal sets down pathways for fruitful collaboration between Aramco and Sinopec. They also noted that this is a positive step for the ongoing partnership between the two firms in their existing joint ventures in China and the kingdom. Aramco Senior Vice President of Downstream Operations, Mohammad Y. al Qatani, echoed this excitement about strengthening ties with Sinopec. By working together, he believes they can expand their respective markets and strengthen their already substantial relationships with China and Saudi Arabia. Now, this new partnership is expected to strengthen Aramco's strategic partnership with Sinopec and expand it into new mutually beneficial fields across the kingdom. According to Sinopec President Yu Baokai, Aramco is a crucial business partner. And through the years, the two businesses have become close, resulting in several successful collaborations. He further noted that this new chapter in their collaboration in the kingdom begins with the signing of the MOU. Additionally, the two businesses will work together to provide the Belt and Road Initiative and Saw Division 2030 with a fresh lease on life and achieve new milestones. The two businesses are said to evaluate engineering, procurement, and construction opportunities related to the integration of refining and petrochemical processes. Moreover, they'll collaborate on projects involving carbon capture, hydrogen production, and oil field services. The enterprises will also discuss the potential for establishing a local manufacturing base at King Salman Energy Park and that might affect foreign investors' plans to deliver goods and services as part of procurement plans. Furthermore, the United Arab Emirates is a natural choice for a procurement office location due to its proximity. This will allow purchasing products from the US, Europe, Asia, and beyond to meet the requirements. Already successful collaborative initiatives between the two firms will be expanded upon with this new partnership. Companies like Yanbu Aramco Sinopec Refining Company and Fujian Refining and Petrochemical Company are also included. Now this is an upgrade to the 2017 BRI agreement between the two nations which was worth $65 billion. China's continuous goal to secure Saudi Arabia as a client state relies heavily on this arrangement. It's also a big deal for the Belt and Road Initiative, which is reorienting China's overseas growth and financial investments. The magnitude of the China-Saudi Arabia MOU is impressive. Growth at the King Salman Energy Park might eventually spread to other industrial zones. Saudi Arabia is the region's economic powerhouse and a major player on the international stage. And despite its orthodox Islamic history, efforts exist to bring more progressive changes. One such possibility is the expansion of Sharm El Sheikh and similar western-style beach resorts on the Red Sea side of the Sinai Peninsula, opposite the Egyptian shore. It's a continuation of $40 billion in Russian energy investments into Iran that Moscow and Tehran agreed on last July. President Xi Jinping of China plans to travel to Saudi Arabia this December, and this will include the cities of Riyadh and Jeddah and the futuristic Neom megacity on the western coast of Saudi Arabia. 
Now, despite U.S. worries, Saudi Arabia restates its dedication to China. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has stated that the United States is now seen as merely another player in a reshaped international system. He said they will meet with representatives from Beijing and other partners that help it share leadership with the United States and Saudi Arabia. He also reaffirmed the country's dedication to China as its most trustworthy partner and supplier of crude oil. He even pledged the country's continuous help in several other sectors. Moreover, it appears that MBS now views the U.S. as a partner only for security reasons, with no real exchange of value on Saudi Arabia's part. Meanwhile, it still sees China as an important ally in trade and energy. And in March of last year, the CEO of Aramco stated that guaranteeing China's energy security is still their top concern. He also said that this would be true not only for the next five years, but for the next 50 as well. Yet, the United States is taken aback by the apparent completion of Saudi Arabia's move away from Washington and towards China. That means the fundamental agreement between the United States and Saudi Arabia that has been in place since 1945 has ended, and they were bound by this arrangement until quite recently. The most recent example of this shift is when MBS refused to answer a call from President Joe Biden. After OPEC announced a massive reduction in collective oil output, Biden was planning to approach him for assistance in lowering energy costs, threatening to derail the global economy. Saudi authorities are also worried that the United States cannot be relied on to back them in a crisis. And this was mainly because of Washington's growing reluctance to intervene militarily in the Middle East. The United States' hasty departure from Afghanistan in 2021 was the most blatant example of this. Therefore, the Saudis seem to have anticipated that the United States could be hesitant to intervene in crisis. This is seen in the Saudi-led intervention in the civil conflict in Yemen that began in early 2015. So in recent years, Riyadh's behavior has diverged from its previous dependence on the United States. And to the Saudis, Iran represents the greatest threat to regional stability. Riyadh is concerned about the effects of U.S. policies in a renewed Iran nuclear deal, which both aim to reduce tensions in the area. Reduced sanctions will allow Iran to pursue a more aggressive foreign policy, endangering Saudi interests in the medium to long term. It seems that some of these Saudi worries are shared in Beijing. According to U.S. intelligence, Saudi Arabia is aggressively producing its own ballistic missiles with China's assistance. More generally, the Saudi elite will be more likely to speed up their own nuclear projects if they lose trust in the U.S. determination to safeguard their interests. Saudi Arabia hopes to gain economically and diplomatically from a more active Chinese presence in the Middle East. However, Riyadh is aware that it must weigh this potential future rewards against the more pressing need to maintain good relations with the U.S. In addition, Riyadh understands that China's continued economic progress might eventually translate into an expanded military force, and this will manifest itself in bolder policies toward the Middle East and abroad. However, Saudi officials do not trust China to be a reliable security partner in place of the United States. And the U.S. pressure on Riyadh to reduce cooperation with China, especially in military matters, would create a problematic situation. Now, the country faces a delicate balancing act between pleasing its longtime friend, the United States, and strengthening ties with China, its biggest economic partner. So what about you? What do you think of Saudi Arabia's new Chinese partnership? And do you think it's doing the right choice? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more interesting videos like this.